second leg of the quaddy is a class one over the 1100 metres. So 390 here, Far North and Favourite. Cold Melody at 5, 650, then Memphis Girl for Jimmy Orman. He's looking for a winning double. My Bella Ruby is on the next line of betting at 7, as to his Rock of Glories. We head to Maxi to have a look at them in the yard. Thank you, Richard. This is the fifth race at Gatton. Jockeys will be legged up in a few moments' time. A lot of interest here in number one, Far North. I assessed him in the markets earlier today as probably a $2.50 chance. I'm just waiting to see if there's any money that's going to come for him. We're getting a good close-up look at him here. Now, this fellow is a former Victorian. He'd only had four starts in Victoria. He won his second start at Stall. He then ran second at Ballarat, then fifth at Mooney Valley behind Hattori Hanzo. I think he won the far lap at Rose Hill, didn't he? During the Rose Hill Carnival, Hattori Hanzo. This guy was six lengths behind him. Look, his form is so superior to the opposition here but he does have a lot of weight and as you can see he looks beautiful in the yard no problems fitness wise but he's not overly big but uh, i do think that he's he's the best horse clearly here on to number two my bella ruby another ex-victorian this mare won a first start at Warrnambool and then she found the going up a grade a little bit too tough. Hence she's here at Gatton today having a first start for Toowoomba trainer Ray Hawkswell. On to the three, Cold Melody has had one run back from a spell and ran second at Lismore in a class one behind Steve Surprise. Only beaten a half a length. Uh, last time in was getting out over a lot further so back, perhaps back to the 1100 metres not entirely suitable there for Cold Melody. Here's Memphis Girl. There's been some support for her on tab.com.au. Her only win was over 900 metres, so she's a bit of a speedster. And uh, she ran seventh last time out when drawn wide over the 900 at the Gold Coast. Did tire late. Chippy winners, the five. Generally races in the first few. Ran third at Bedesert, and her last start was fifth at Gunda Windy. But importantly, Chippy winners, a track and distance winner here at Gatton. The six rock of glory, there has been some support for this guy as well, an ex-Victorian. He's only had the one start in this area. He ran second at Gunda Windy back on the 28th of March. Up on the speed on that occasion was beaten a length behind Jai's luck. Now moving on to number seven here, Bon C, Brooks Dower takes over. Finished fourth in Toowoomba last start behind You Know Best. It was only a bit of a plugging run prior to that. Fifth at Warwick and three back was the winner of a maiden at Lismore. So needs to improve a little bit, perhaps a place chance. On to the eight, Claire Dolores. Uh, she's a winner this track and distance. And last start was down the track seventh behind Superior Sun at Bow Desert. It was wide on that occasion and did tire. Couple at a big price, the nine. Le Chacal is hard to recommend. The big chestnut here, number 10, Seraphims. Five-year-old by Sequala. Now, his uh, last couple of runs, he hasn't done a lot when favourite. He'd been in the market, he's two runs back from a spell. He'd been showing out early and showing nothing over the final part. So he needs to improve. And the 11 wild romance is hard to have. Blinkers are going on first time. Got Rock of Glory, Lucia, Cal and Sarah Burns. The runners are at the start for the fifth event, uh, the Class 1 over the 1100 metres. They're all starting here in Far North. Is the favourite at $3.80 on you, but he was 3.9, so he's in 10 cents. As I said earlier, I, I thought he was a $2.50 chance, but um, there hasn't been a, a big push for him here at the track or on. Uh, you bet or on tab.com.au on tab he opened at 320 he's out to three dollars and fifty did note that he, he's only a little fella in the yard and he's got a big weight 59 and a half he's probably giving five five and a half kilos away to most of the runners here you see him over there at the start looks beautiful beautiful coat on him he comes from victoria this guy is now with richie stevenson but he um he's certainly not a big strong horse that you'll know will carry the weight so i think that's the pump that you're taking with him uh, however, his form is superior, so I've got him in on top here of number two, My Bella Ruby, three, Cold Melody, and number five, Chipper Wine. So on tab, Far North, 3.20 out to 3.50. Cold Melody's been very weak, 3.80 out to 6. 
Rock of Glory, number six, has a good draw here. Nine dollars into 6.5. Memphis Girls drawn out wide. She's nine into 6.5. My Bella Ruby, number two, has been weak. Six out to nine dollars. So very interested to see how far north performs here. But up until this point, we're inside 60 seconds and there hasn't been any great push for him. I'm just going simply on statistics and form. Here's Josh for the call of the fifth here at Gatton. Money on track, it's just in 20 cents late on track, 3.8 back into 3.6. Okay, thanks Maxie. And uh, we've got four to move in for race five here at Burgess Park. Now Seraphim's about to move up with Claire Dolores and that will leave Memphis Girl and Lur Chacal to move in. So favourite far north, he's been the best backed on track. Been a bit of money at longer odds for Chipper Wine and Seraphims here, and to a lesser degree, Le Chacal, but he'll jump the clear favourite far north on the tote at 3.10, firming up on you bet. Now Memphis Girl moving in, and the last to move up will be Le Chacal for Hoopit. So the favourite's got the inside barrier far north in white and black colours as Le Chacal goes in, and we're right to go. Stand by Burgess Park, race five. Gate one, far north. All clear, lights on. Racing, and far north began okay. Coming out poorly was Wild Romance, about five lengths behind the field. Rock of Glory began nicely, and also going up there are Seraphims on the outside with My Bella Ruby. So Seraphims a leader from My Bella Ruby. Memphis Girl is up to third, and they'll be closely followed by Rock of Glory over on the inside of the barn. And then Claire Dolores Bon C. Now far north has drifted a long way back as Lur Chacal goes past it on the outside. Cold Melody's back second last, and Wild Romance last of all. So Seraphim's here by a length and a half to Memphis Girl. And then we've got Lur Chacal on the outside. Chipper Wine, Claire Dolores, My Bella Ruby, Bon C. This favourite second last far north at the 300 metres mark. And Seraphim's a leader from Chipper Wine. Memphis Girl on the outside. Lur Chacal the widest. Cold Melody comes even deeper. And Bon C far north is too far back. At the moment it's all Seraphim's. It's out three lengths in front. Memphis Girl tries hard. But Seraphim's is well clear with 100 metres left to go. And kept going. It's all Seraphim's. Cold Melody's flashing home late, but Seraphim's gets in. Seraphim's by a length to Cold Melody, and Bonsey's got up to run third. Not sure fourth. Up there, Rock of Glory, Far North, Chipper Y, Memphis Girl tied late. And then Claire Dolores, Le Chacal was wide. Second last, My Bella Ruby. And the last one was Wild Romance. Lee Adard again, a winning double today. Number 10, Seraphim's, trained by Rex Lip. Has brained them. Uh, Lee rode uh, Society Queen to victory in race number two. And uh, Seraphim's, the baldy face, that son of Sequalo has won. Cold Melody made a late dash out wide, but has run out of time to get there. And Bon C has run third. It's 10, 3 and 7. 10, 3 and 7. 10, the winner, Seraphim's. Lee Adard, a winning double. Rex Lip, the winning trainer. Defeating Cold Melody, Jason Taylor, Bevan Lemming. Third, Bon C, Brooke Stower, Brian Costello. Should be 10, 3 and 7 after race 5 as we stand by for more details to be notified from the judge. All right, number 10, Seraphim's getting the money third up from a spell. Trained in Toowoomba by Rex Lip. Cold Melody running on strongly and then Bon C, 10, 3 and 7. The favourite there, Far North, that was why uh, there was no money for him. He just didn't go a yard. Probably warming up a little bit over the last 200 metres. Probably needs a lot further, but uh, didn't really do a lot Far North. Perhaps keep an eye on him when he drops a bit in the handicaps and perhaps steps out over something a little bit longer. But uh, the winner of the race, Seraphims, who started favourite at its first two runs back from a spell and failed. Big, strong fella. Big white face, a chestnut. Four white socks. Coming back in those very familiar uh, Rex Lip colours. And Lee Attard. Lee was in action on Friday. Rode a beautiful race on a horse called Tactician. Talented fella. He's, uh, he's getting some good opportunities and he's running with it, Lee. And we might see him in town in the not too distant future. Now, where is Rex? Just waiting for uh, Rex Lip to come down to the mounting yard to welcome back the winner. And he's doing that very slowly but surely. Rex with a winner yesterday on uh, Toowoomba Cup Day.
And he gets one today. Rex, can we get a, a quick word? We just wanted to uh, to know your thoughts going into today because the big chestnut fella over here, Rex, we want to get a look at you on camera. By geez, a big flashy fella, isn't he? Yes, Dave, he is very, uh, Michael, he is very steady, big flashy bloke and plenty of people wanting for a cross-country horse or a show jumper so i can see why rex he's two runs back he was favorite didn't really do a lot no mate i've had a lot of problems with him and i just spoke to the steward there before the race i said i've had a lot of problems it's a while since he had a run and uh we, you know, we had to do a few little things to him i gave him a jump out the other day and he went terrific and uh, here he is today well well done thanks michael two winners in two days for rex lip so that's the story of race five here at gatton let's head to